Yes, guys, welcome back to another video. Of course, on this game again, because it bangs views. Anyway, you've seen in the title, you already know what it is. I put 30 former or current former WWE champions. World Heavyweight Champion, whatever. Just a main stage championship. Into a Royal Rumble. And we're going to see who the strongest champion of all time is. It's pretty simple, bro. It's pretty simple. The following contest is the Royal Rumble. I'll put a time on the bottom of the screen now. So you can skip the, the entrances if you want to. One and number two will start the ring at the same time. Other superstars will join in the order they drew. This will continue until all 30 superstars have entered the ring. Eliminations occur when you are thrown over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. The last superstar in the ring will be declared the Royal Rumble winner and will go on to face the champion of their choice at WrestleMania! Number one. Ooh! The Undertaker. He's won a couple world championships. And uh, pretty sure, I mean, you can't see it in the entrance, but I'm pretty sure I actually gave him the championship. So. One of the most awe inspiring entrances in all of sports entertainment. Introducing the participants. First, from Death Valley, weighing in at 309 pounds, the WWE Universal Champion, the Yeah, I gave him the universal belt. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Title. What are you willing to go through? How far are you willing to push yourself to win the Royal Rumble? Why is he so angry, bro? Nothing has happened, boss. Calm down. Fucking hell. The face I make when my nan don't make me a bacon sarnie in the morning. Look at him! Why is he so angry? He's your universal champ, bro. Why the hell is he so angry? Probably because he knows he keeps fucking coming back at retirement when he shouldn't. Now, nah, Undertaker's a legend, though. All I'm saying is, I am praying that number two doesn't end up being Bray Wyatt, because I, I'm not sitting through a fucking Undertaker and a Bray Wyatt entrance, bro. Do you know how long each of them are? And I think Bray Wyatt's is even fucking longer. He's in good shape though. Don't remember that being the case. Because this attire is actually from when he fought John Cena at WrestleMania. And I'm pretty sure he had a bit of a belly then. Well, this man is six Ooh, foot okay. three, okay. 275 pounds of pure power. Perhaps the strongest <laughs> man in WWE. Introducing the individual who drew number two from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty, almighty Bobby, Bobby Lashley. The almighty is always on his grind and steps up to any challenge presented. An incredible resume of championship. Interesting starting too as well. Has held the United States Championship, Intercontinental, ECW, and WWE titles multiple times each. 
Is he a multiple time WWE champion? I don't think he is, is he? I know he won it. Didn't he beat the Miz for it or something? But I don't think he's won it multiple times. No. He beat no. Yeah. He beat the Miz. And I think Big E took it off him, right? With the cash. In. Oh, okay. I'm gonna take a long give a fuck away WWE Championship, World apparently. So your Remember, one of these competitors will go on to WrestleMania to battle for the championship of their choice. Here we go. Quick thinking from Lashley. Oh yeah, of course I'm not playing in the Rumble either. Just to make it fair because you know I'm too correct. Kofi Kingston. Actually, Bobby Lashley is a two-time champ, isn't it? Because he lost it to Big E, but he also lost it to Brock Lesnar. But I don't remember how he won the other one, except from the one he beat the Miz for. Is it Drew McIntyre or something? I'm not sure. I think it actually was. Oh my god. Hulk Hogan, that is a big name early as well. Although, I do play this game a fair amount, yeah. I do Royal Rumbles occasionally. Every Royal Rumble I've done that has Hulk Hogan in it, he goes out so quick. I don't know what it is. But I feel like he's just unlucky in Rumbles. Which is crazy because he's won multiple. Goldberg. Another big name. Don't want to speak about his championship history. He came back, absolutely murked fucking. Um, what's his face? Kevin Owens took that universal belt. He smashed up fucking um, The Fiend. Not my proudest moment to have experienced. But nonetheless, here comes the people's champ. He's won quite a few world titles as well. Maybe winning another one soon, as it's, well, as in the making of this video, a few days ago, just been announced that um, The Rock has come back and called out Roman Reigns. Absolutely fucking crazy. Absolutely crazy. Shawn Michaels. The boyhood dream. The ring is about to fill up as well. Next contestant, if there's no eliminations, the ring will be full. It will pause all entries. I am on legendary difficulty as well, so... I'm pretty sure they take less damage, or I might be tripping. Oh, okay, Kofi is out. <laughs> All right then. But Eddie Guerrero is in the match now. Of course, winning that title off of um, Brock Lesnar, I think. The star power in the ring right now is crazy. Oh, Bobby Lashley just reversed that. If he didn't reverse that, Bobby Lashley would be out. Next entrance. Oh, 
Oh, Randy Orton. Has one of the most world titles in the history of WWE, actually. 14 of them. Randy Orton needs to be the guy to break uh, Ric Flair and Randy Orton. Ric Flair and John Cena's record. He needs to be. Randy Orton's worked so hard for it, bro. He needs it. And the thing is, he's only two off of equal in it as well. So it wouldn't even take that much. He needs... In a... Um, on Logan Paul's podcast, Randy Orton literally said he wants to go for a, a, quite a while longer as well. So giving him three title runs in that time is nothing, bro. Oh, Undertaker just got eliminated. That's a big elimination. Nice shot of Hulk Hogan's ass. I'm gonna say my favorite to win it. I'm gonna go a little bit wild and say I'm gonna say Triple H is gonna win it I don't know what's wild about that but yeah Triple H is gonna win this match if Triple H comes in next I'm actually gonna just quit Rey Mysterio I think Rey Mysterio has won two He won one at Wrestlemania in that triple threat against Randy Orton and Kurt Angle um, And then he won another one on Raw for the vacant title I think the final was against The Miz, he won it against, lost it the exact same night to John Cena. Brilliant. Booking at his finest. Is this a jackhammer? Jackhammer. But he decided he's just gonna leave him on the floor. Okay. The ring is full, so there'll be no more people coming in until somebody is eliminated. I'm gonna call that the next person eliminated is Bobby Lashley. That's my prediction. Bobby Lashley is next to be eliminated. And he almost was right then. I'll tell you now. Out of all the Royal Rumbles I've done in this game, this is the longest Hulk Hogan has lasted. Oh, RKO. Why has everyone just been left on the ground when they're stunned, bro? No one's gonna get eliminated then. The star power in this ring, bro. Oh my god. You literally have two faces of the WWE from different eras in the ring at the same time. You have Hulk Hogan in the world.
Oh, they're all reversing. Oh! Goldberg! Goldberg is gone. Bobby Lashley eliminates Goldberg. They had an awful match as well, them two. I think Goldberg got concussed in the match. I'm not actually sure. Oh, oh, okay, Randy Orton basically just saved it in the Okay, who's going to be the next one to come in? Who's it going to be? I'm guessing it's going to be... Kevin Owens. Oh, Brock. Oh, Randy Orton's out! That's, that's huge as well. But Brock Lesnar's coming in, so everyone better fucking panic. Oh, who just got eliminated? Who got eliminated? I didn't see. Shawn Michaels! Oh, God, okay. Another big one. To be fair, they're all big ones if they get eliminated. I don't know what I'm chatting about. I'm absolutely waffling. Eddie Guerrero is eliminated. What? There's no way. Brock Lesnar just came in and he's instantly been clotheslined over the top rope by Bobby Lashley. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Big E. Another person that <laughs> defeated Bobby Lashley for a fucking championship. I hope Big E recovers fully from his uh, neck injury as well. And I'd love to see him come back to the ring at some point. What? Bro! Bobby Lashley didn't take those title losses so fucking too lightly, bro. He's clotheslined both people that beat him for his championship over the top rope as soon as they came in. And Bray Wyatt's in the ring now. Bray Wyatt's won multiple championships as well. He won... He won one in the Elimination Chamber. That was a good one. That was his first one as well. Then when he became The Fiend, he won even one or two. Seth Rollins, an actual current champion. Seth Rollins is the current World Heavyweight Champion, so... He's also won multiple as well. I think he's won two WWE World Heavyweight Championships and he's won two Universal Championships, I think. Okay, my pick to win the match is coming in at number 15. I'm not liking the odds right now. But, and he's been needing the skull already. Oh no. Can the King Slayer slay the King again? Hulk Hogan. Seth Rollins did nothing. Oh. Kevin Owens. Triple H got dropped on his head. Bray Wyatt's eliminated. Bray Wyatt has been dashed out by Triple H as well, see? I told you Triple H is going to win.
Oh, the rocks up top. No, the rock stays in it. Hulk Hogan versus Kevin Owens. Oh, rock bottom. And he's going to leave him on the ground? Yep. Speaking about Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is so underrated, bro. Kevin Owens is so good. Ooh, Batista, my favorite of all time. Just absolutely flopped that one. I think, personally, it, I don't, it might be biased, but I also think Batista's a bit underrated. Bati I'll just shut up. I'll just shut up. I just can't believe that. You know what makes it even worse? The ring announcer didn't even announce that he got eliminated. Well, Bobby Lashley's out. Oh, okay. Longest reigning champion of all time. Absolutely ridiculous. 2,800 days as champion. That is crazy to think about. Also, why is he so small? Is he actually that small? I thought he was meant to be like a powerhouse. I was like two foot six. Seth Rollins, I think, is like six foot. And standing next to Seth Rollins, he is a midget. He's probably like 5'6". I didn't know that Bruno was that fucking small. Oh, Rey Mysterio is gone. Booker T. Five time. And Seth Rollins is gone. Current World Heavyweight Champion, gone. Oh no, The Rock's got a fresh Booker T. Trying to eliminate him. Not looking good. Never mind. Get Bruno out, man. He's too small. Before all of you midgets start coming at me in the comments, I'm not much taller than 5'6". I'm literally 5'10". I'm not even 6 foot myself. AJ Styles. He's another short guy. He's still taller than Bruno. How small is he? I'm going to Google this. Wait.
edge. He he's not five ten. Bruno San Martino is not five ten. If he's five ten, that means AJ Styles is like six four, and he's not. That would make Hulk Hogan like six foot fucking ten. The ring is full again. As Edge came in to fill the ring up. Next elimination will be... Oh, Edge. Okay. <laughs> Bro just came in! Fucking hell! He pulled a Brock Lesnar and a Big E. He's gonna fill up the ring now. Or is someone else going to be eliminated? Maybe Hulk Hogan. He is low. Nope, he stays in. Hulk Hogan's actually done really well. And The Rock. Hulk Hogan and The Rock have done really well this Sunday. Is it gonna be? Oh god. Have you acknowledged your tribal chief today? Triple H definitely hasn't. Roman Reigns is literally fighting to beat Hulk Hogan's record. As like the third or fourth longest uh, championship run in history. Roman Reigns has had, he's currently the WWE Undisputed World Heavyweight and Universal Champion. No! Triple H! No! My pick! No. Oh, fuck. Anyway, as I was saying, Roman Reigns has had that belt for over 1,200 days and counting. Bruno! Bruno's gone. Get out of here. There was like three of the longest five title reigns in history in the ring at the same time with Bruno, Hogan and Roman. Oh, the rock might be gone. No, nah, he's right. Ultimate Warrior. Shades of WrestleMania 6, maybe? I think it was 6. Where Warrior beat Hulk Hogan for the WWE and Intercontinental Championship. Might be. Oh, Kevin Owens is out. Kane. Kane could be a difference maker. Ultimate Warrior's gone already! Oh my days. The Rock just took a scissors kick. Hulk Hogan. 
Hulk Hogan might be out. Hulk Hogan might be out. Nah. Nah, he's fine. The Rock vs. Roman Reigns. Is that foreshadowing? As Kurt Angle comes in. You suck. You suck. The Rock popped up after that German Superman. Oh, rock bomb! John Cena coming in at number 26. That could be dangerous. Oh, AJ Styles is out. I'm actually curious as to who's going to win this match. I'm genuinely curious. Roman Reigns. Yeah. He stays in. Surprisingly by himself. Without the help of the bloodline. Oh my god, Stone Cold Steve Austin at 27 could be even more dangerous than John Cena at 26. The only man to ever win three Royal Rumble matches in his career, coming in at number 27. Oh, Hulk Hogan's going to be eliminated. Oh, he had a good run, he had a good run. Roman Reigns says I'm taking that fucking rain person. He's coming for that fucking championship rain. The Rock and Kane are double team and double team. What the hell did I just say? Oh, who did the rock eliminate? Kane. Kane's gone. Okay. Drew McIntyre, the Scottish psychopath. Oh, Roman Reigns is out. Get out, you cheating bitch. John Cena eliminates Roman Reigns. The rumble slowly starting to cut down now. Only two more people to come in as well. The Rock has had an amazing Royal Rumble here. The Rock has been in this match for so long. Oh, Sheamus. Oh, I wish I said Sheamus now. Before I chose Triple H to be my pick, I was going to choose Sheamus. Ah, I wish I chose Sheamus now. The odds are looking good. Sheamus, multiple time WWE champion. In fact, I think everybody except Drew McIntyre is a multiple time champion in this ring. And now Rob Van Dam as well, because I think he only won 
the WWE title once against John Cena at ECW. One night stand? The ring is full and there is no more people coming to the ring. So one of the superstars in the ring right now is going to win this match. It could be The Rock, John Cena, Rob Van Dam, Sheamus, Stone Cold, Booker T or Kurt Angle. Or Drew McIntyre. Don't know if I said him or not. If I've got to predict out of the people in this ring... <gasps> oh my god, The Rock just got saved by John Cena. If I'm going to make a prediction, I am going to go for Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold has the best history in terms of Royal Rumble matches. The only man to win three. Gotta be him. Oh... That could have been The Rock or John Cena out there, either one. Good run down. So Angle. Will run down, save himself. So does Kurt Angle. She's turned. Oh, Kurt Angle saved himself there. Oh, Sheamus eliminates Kurt Angle. Stone Cold's on the ropes. Oh, but he stays in. Oh, wait, Booker T's been eliminated as well. Oh, damn. And Drew McIntyre is now about to be eliminated. It's narrowing down. The Rock going to eliminate Sheamus. The Rock and Stone Cold. Can they eliminate Sheamus? No, they can't. It could be any superstar in this match right now. Rob Van Dam, the only one that hasn't won multiple titles. Also, the only one that hasn't won a Royal Rumble. Van Dam just got broken. Seamus, the only one standing in this ring. Never mind. I speak way too soon. My pick is still Stone Cold Steve Austin. Looking at the health of everybody, I definitely should have chose Sheamus when I chose Triple H. Because Sheamus is absolutely smashing it right now. He has the highest health. He had an actual good entry. Oh, Stone Cold might be eliminated. 
Stone Cold could get eliminated here. By John Cena. Nope, he stays in. Another attempt to get Stone Cold out, but this time it's Sheamus. Oh, John Cena! John Cena attitude adjustment to The Rock. The Rock has been so impressive in this one, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Stone Cold's out! Sheamus eliminates Stone Cold. The only one standing. And again, the rock, the only one standing. And the rock gets his revenge of a rock bottom. match man I'm not even gonna make another pick because with four people left it's not exactly fair but Seamus would have been my first pick so if I would have said him and he ends up winning that would have been pretty crazy oh Rob Van Damme eliminates John Cena The Rock, if The Rock wins this, th that is crazy. Because if you've ever played a WWE 2K game, you know that if you put AIs into a rumble, they don't last the whole fucking thing. Now Shane is the only one standing. This is tight, bro. Seamus is trying to do something, but he's just not. There we go, Seamus. There we go. They all have finishes. They could dump each other over so easily. He went right into that turnbuckle. Dangerous position with your feet tied up like that. So they just hung Rob Van Dam and then scrapped for himself. Come on, Rock. Oh? Why are you not... Bro! Could have got him out then. Rob Van Dam could have been eliminated. Placed him in the corner. 
This could be it. Elimination time. Can Rob Van Dam keep himself in this match? Yes, okay. DDT from Rock. Oh, Rock dodges that one. That was pretty clear. As was the DDT. I don't know what happened there, but the Rock won that exchange. Oh, Rock bottom. Rock bottom. And a spine buster. Rob Van Dam trying to eliminate Sheamus. Is it gonna happen? Is it gonna happen? Nope, Sheamus stays in. Oh, this could be it. This could be it for Sheamus. This could be it for Sheamus. No, he stays in again. Robin Dam's got to be out here right after taking that bro kick to the face. He's got to be out. Robin Dam's out. And it's between Sheamus and The Rock to win this match. And Sheamus is stunned. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Rock bottom. Oh, but Seamus got out of it. I really should have picked Seamus. God damn. Seamus has made it to the final two. That would have been such a good prediction. Oh! Seamus hit him for broke kick. That's got to be it, surely. The Rock's been in too long. The Rock's eliminated. Sheamus has won the Royal Rumble. Fuck, I should have chose Sheamus. No. I would have just called the nastiest prediction of all time, bro. No. No. Seamus wins the Royal Rumble match. You have your answer. The best world champion of all time, Seamus. Okay, I know that video was long, alright? Shut the fuck up.